bloke were off out. First time we've been out since so last week. Um, the pub up on Exmoor is selling off all the stock. So Natasha, the beer lady, operates from up there um, and got no one to sell to. So they're, they're selling off the pins and the bottles. Um, cheap. Uh, I've all put my order in. Put my order in and um, I've got my fucking gloves. So I have to go back round and get the gloves. Which isn't too much of a problem. Because my father came out hassling me. <laughs> anyway. teens if not a tinsy bit higher temperature wise Sorry about that. Wipers, no. Little work. I'm not moving the camera now on screen because it's uh, stuck. This is one of a few 33% hills.
a bit of shit. Oh, fucking hell, that's a bit fruity. Oh, yes. Oh. He's got some ships that are coming out. That's the Exmoor boundary where he's just come out.
Cheers, fellas. Anyway, let's help Natasha out a little bit. Because it's just chat to Steve, he's got um, 18s. He's got six 18s. She, she started out with six 18s and a bit bitter. Um, and, you know, what the fuck are you supposed to do with it? I mean, it was all bought for the Bristol Beer Festival, which got cancelled. Um, and she's been lumbered with it, and it's all going off. She's got tons and tons and tons of bottle stock, um, which will last a year. She's got big um, uh, boxes of cider, which will last a year. Um, but it's the, it's the kegs, and she's just a complete and utter loss of what to do with it. So this is something that kind of has been going around on Facebook to say, look, why don't you sell it? It's all stored at the pub. The pub's not open, of course. Um, it's all stored at the pub. Well, you see Dartmoor today. So you're on next week, you see Dartmoor. That's lovely, isn't it? Um, so it's all stored at the pub in the barn. Um, and, you know, Steve's got one of the 18s outside for people to come and help themselves to, to litres of it as, as and when they wish. So no one goes into the pub. Barrels are outside on the steps, honestly, box beside it. Uh, but because people aren't going around and about, then generally uh, people are behaving themselves. Whereas outside of this corona lockdown, fucking shit, um, he's at Woodpile outside the, outside the pub before now, and it's fucking disappeared overnight. You know, someone drops off a pile of sticks for it because it's an awful lot of. Um, Charity, it's the wrong word. Donations, people are you know lopping a tree on the on the farm or whatever up on Exmoor, and they'll just drop the sticks down at Steve's. And all he's got to do is store it, season it, and then it's the following year's firewood, or six months' time's firewood. Even in the thick of the summer, the fire is going inside that place because it's th such thick walls, it gets chilly. Yeah, there's a certain amount of um, pilferage that takes place. People that have got nothing better to do than nick other people's stuff. And his, anyway, his wood pile is stored somewhere else now. And there's a couple of the locals have been up there with chainsaws and chopping up for him because he lives there. The landlord lives there. Um, like I say, no one but him and the cat goes through the front door or into the bar area. <clears throat> but if people turn up with food, and it's a story that came up this morning, it did make me laugh. I'm probably, I'm probably going to publish it on one of the other videos, but it was on Facebook this morning. Steve put it out on Facebook saying, you yeah, know, to the person that delivers food to my doorstep every single morning, brings tears of joy to myself, but any chance you can stop fucking doing it until you can cook? And someone responded back about two minutes later saying, yeah, the food's for Fred, the cat. <laughs> Social media, I mean, okay, there's a lot of people that, because the pub, that particular pub, has been the centre of the community for that long. That there's a lot of people all over, kind of Exmoor, that will circulate around a particular pub. And, and this one, they catch up, well, gossip goes around regardless of the pub, but uh, so now there's kind of, not necessarily an online pub, but there is a pub kind of group people are trying to support each other and keep each other, you know, sane. I mean, Steve's completely fucking insane anyway. I think a level of insanity is required if you're going to become a publican. And his cat's called Fred Hitler as well, which just amuses no end. I've got a Facebook page. I think if you look it up, I've got Facebook, Frederick Albert Hitler, pubcat. Largely, it stays there. Good ratchet, though. I'll give him that. It's not often you turn up there on an evening and he won't be chewing, like chewing an old rat outside the front door. Public service. Right, here we are. Down here again.
it's a beautiful day. Let me go and sort the heater box out on that Sandy the Landy. I thought you might just like a little trip out with me to relieve some of the boredom for you viewers that are stuck at home. We'll go back over to the, um, let's go back over to um, where we're going. This is 25% of the bottom of this hill. And this is 20 at the top. Maybe it's a different hill, I don't know. Might... bobbing around. Beautiful views up here as well. It's actually gorgeous today. Central trip for rations. I'm not suggesting you guys go out driving because that's just daft. And uh, I thought I'd video it because, just because, for no other reason than <coughs> sharing with you. Pick me up a little bit going out because I've only been going out down into the local town to the supermarket. Now I know that um, Beer Lady is um, selling off her stock and I shall buy my stock from there rather than from the supermarket which has a woefully poor supply anyway. Fucking mad being locked down. 